Introducing Smart Pot. We make gardening smarter. We are proposing a pot that is entirely self-sufficient in monitoring a plant's health, delivering the required nutrients, and keeping the owner apprised of its status. Smart Pot was created to make houseplant ownership more functional and accessible. We would like for this product to inspire a greener style of living for consumers from a wide range of backgrounds. Economically, when the popularity of Smart Pot rises, the market for houseplants will increase. This includes small businesses such as nurseries and those who sell pots and planting materials. Adding houseplants has the potential to improve the air quality of a household. On a larger scale, we would like for Smart Pot to increase the awareness of the importance of taking care of nature and the environment around us, protecting the earth from pollution and minimizing deforestation. The system itself is composed of six sensors and a motor, which are connected through a printed circuit board and communicate through an Arduino to deliver data to a mobile app. I was responsible for creating the circuit, tuning the sensors, and creating the control loop for the water valve. Um, why this was important was that we needed a central hub that could detect all the ideal conditions needed to grow a plant. Um, and the sensors such as moisture, light, and temperature allowed us to keep track of that. Um, and this is all wired to an Arduino coded in C++, which outputted an int and then packaged as a string to send off to the ESP to send to the user. Um, the control loop was set up by creating boundary conditions uh, per plant. And when the boundary conditions were met, the water valve would turn on, so during dry conditions, to give the soil some more moisture. The way we approached the design of the smart pot required us to conduct robust and timely data transfer between the Arduino ESP32 and the user smartphone. We achieved this through UR protocols and Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE. The Arduino writes sensor data to the ESP through the UART and the data is stored as a pointer so the app can use it as meaningful data. We use UART protocols because they are reliable and BLE allows us to connect multiple smart pots together and reduce power consumption to increase efficiency. The sensors and motor are connected through a printed circuit board to enable a compact design that maintains signal integrity. This is a double-sided rigid PCB with two conductive layers and through-hole vias. It measures approximately 34 by 36 millimeters. The sensitive sensors are located close to the Arduino pinouts to avoid noise and maintain high speed. The resistor sizes were chosen to minimize copper and heat losses. The connections on the board were verified during hardware testing to ensure communication between the Arduino and the data sent to the user was correct. As for the application part of this project, here we see the introduction page followed by the home page that shows up. Here you can add as many plants as you want, specifying the name. In this case, we chose rose, the type of plant, you can pick one of the three categories there are. And then after that, you can pick the image of your plant to customize it. Once it's selected, you can save the image into a hive box, which is a local data storage. And in that way, you can close the app, reopen it. That data will always remain for you. Here, we are connecting to the Bluetooth device in order to capture data. So we first connect to the device. Once we have connected, all the devices show up, so you want to find your device called SmartPot. And then once you're connected, you can press read. It takes about a second or two to read the data, and once done, it will update all the values. So then you can go back, go to your data page, and see all of the data that is available for you. SmartPot. We make gardening smarter.